Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a get ready with me using all of the products in my Project 10 pan and my Pan That palette, which is my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. If you missed the videos where I talked about both of those projects, I'll have them linked down in the description for you so you can catch up. Um, but if you'd like to see them applied all to my face and see how I created this look, um, just keep on watching. So my hair looks a little bit like Dolly Parton because I just curled it and this is what it looks like before it kind of has a chance to settle down. So we're just gonna tuck that behind my ears and get some makeup on this face because I'm feeling puffy, pale, it's the morning, I have my morning voice and I'm in my squeaky chair. So all of that preamble out of the way, let's start with some makeup. I have some skincare on and nothing else. So I'm gonna go in with my Becca primer. <clears throat> Such a nice glowy primer. I typically do two pumps of this, which might be overkill. I probably could get away with just one, but I don't know. Two pumps just feels right, you know? I even go right up underneath my eyes with this because I feel like that area could also use some kind of light reflecting, but you can see how luminous that makes my skin look. Such a nice primer. I really, really wish that Becca hadn't gone out of business, like specifically for this primer. It's so good. I've got coffee on deck because it's the morning. I know I already mentioned that, but <laughs> I hope you have a comforting warm beverage as well. And if you don't, pause the video and go make yourself one because it's January and that is the season of warm, comforting beverages. Okay, I'm gonna go in with foundation next. So the one that I'm currently working on is my Armani Luminous Silk. I usually just put a little bit on my fingers, apply it to my face, and then blend it in with a damp beauty blender. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm noticing that I'm having to pump a lot of times to get the same amount of product out. So I'm thinking that means I might be getting close to the last little drugs of this foundation. Fingers crossed because I have a lot of foundations in my collection that I would like to work on. And let's just chat while I work on blending this in. So how are you? Let me know in the comments because I feel like there's two camps right now. There's the still kind of hype about the new year, feeling very motivated and happy camp. And then there's the other camp that's like, can we go back and start 2023 over? Because this is not how I envisioned my year starting. So if you are in the latter camp, I'm sending love to you. I certainly understand. That was definitely how my 2022 started. 2023 is starting okay so far. It's definitely not perfect. There's a lot going on that I wish was not going on um, in my personal life, but um, generally I am feeling okay. Starting this YouTube channel and having like a new project to focus on has helped me a lot. And that was the other thing I wanted to say was just thank you so much for the support um, so far on my YouTube endeavors. Um, the comments, every like, everyone who subscribed, everyone who shared the video um, on social media or with a friend, you really don't know how much that means to me. Like the fact that anyone would wanna watch my videos anyway is sort of blowing my mind. So I just appreciate it so, so much. And I wanted to make sure I thanked you because it was a leap of faith starting this YouTube channel, but I feel like I was just received with open, loving and supportive arms and that has made all the difference. Okay, before I forget, I'm gonna put my eyeshadow primer on. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance that's in my Project 10 pan. And I keep forgetting to put this on. So I need to just make a habit of when I'm doing my foundation before I get too far down the you know routine to just put this on so that I don't forget. Also not a part of my Project Tin Pan, but my lips are feeling really dry. So I'm gonna go in with my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I have the shade Vanilla Beige, and this is just such a good all-purpose lip product. It is a balm, but it's also, you know, kind of like a gloss that you can wear for, you know, every day or even like a full glam makeup look. Um, I just really like the way it feels. It is very 
thick but not gloopy but it sticks to your lips like it grips onto your lips and makes them feel very nourished and comforted it smells like vanilla too which is amazing okay so let's move on to concealer um working on my glossier stretch concealer and gonna go in with that underneath my eyes this concealer is not my absolute favorite for spot concealing like blemishes or redness or anything it does work but because it's such a stretchy uh consistency i find that sometimes it does kind of slip around um so i'm gonna use it to spot conceal this little spot here today and underneath my nose and i'll set it with powder but um yeah, it wouldn't typically be my first choice for spot concealing. It's definitely an under eye concealer in my routine, um, but that's okay. I think to get the use out of it, maybe I should try using it for, you know, my all purpose concealer instead of switching concealers midway through. Next, I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Tantor on the end of my beauty blender. I'm just gonna take this kind of around my face as my wash of bronze. And I might actually just use my <laughs> viewfinder to do this instead of my mirror. You can see how little of that goes such a long way, which is why I've had this product in my collection for so long, even after hitting pan on it, because you just need such a teeny tiny amount of it to cover your entire face. And then doing the same with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I always forget what this is called. Yep, Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. I just apply it to the tops of my cheekbones and then blend it in with my Beauty Blender. So anyway, thank you again for your support. I asked over on Instagram um, if anybody had any video suggestions and I got lots of great feedback there. But I also wanted to ask you all um, if there are any YouTube videos in particular that you would like to see from me, um, just put them in a comment down below and I'll add them. I have a note, a running note in my phone where I'm keeping all of my video ideas and there's just so many ideas that I'm excited about. I'm having so much fun with the whole YouTube thing. So yeah, if you all have any requests or just suggestions, recommendations, ideas, I would love to hear them. So please leave me a comment and let me know. Obviously, I'm gonna have my monthly project pan project updates. I'll probably do a monthly empties video, depending on how many empties I have, um, but then the rest of it is sort of up in the air. So lots of people were requesting get ready with me is like kind of like the style of video I'm doing today. Uh, but I don't know if there's like product specific get ready with me's that people are interested in or brand specific themed get ready with me's like all of those kinds of ideas I'm totally up for so just let me know. So skin is looking pretty even and glowy. I'm going to go in with a product that is not part of my Project 10 pan but that I use pretty much every day anyway which is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand. Um, I just like to have a little bit of contouring um, around kind of under my cheekbones and under my jaw um, and a little bit on my nose too. So I'll show you how I do that. I used to apply this straight to my face, but we've had a little incident where a bunch of product has leaked out, which is not uncommon for this product um, from what I've heard. So now I just take my brush and grab the teensiest, tiniest little bit off of the top. This is the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. It's my favorite for getting into the hollows of the cheekbones. And I was doing my contour way up here. That was kind of the trend, um, that really lifted look. But I just never really liked the way that it made my face shape look. I don't think it was flattering to my face shape. Um, so now I make my really attractive face. <laughs> and I look for the shadows of my cheekbones instead of trying to, I don't know, fake higher cheekbones I just go with the ones that I have so I'm gonna make my face and you can see there how it makes like a little angle so I just kind of contour following that angle and then blend it in Now 
And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more and go up under my jawline. Seriously, if you get this product, the tiniest amount of product goes such a long way. I know people are always concerned about how much product is actually in the tube. And it isn't a lot, like there's definitely a lot of air in here, which is very annoying for the price tag, but trust me, you do not need very much product to get your contour every day. I'm just gonna blend that in. And then for my nose, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, um, but I just use my finger and take a teeny tiny little bit off the top of this and I just kind of stamp it on the end of my nose and then on the bridge of my nose and whatever is left on my finger, I just run on either side. And then I blend with that same brush to just kind of lift the end of my nose. Okay, powder time. So I'm gonna go in with my Kosas Cloud Set. I'm gonna tap out any creases underneath my eyes and then to set my under eyes, I actually have been doing something for years that, I don't know, it might be kind of weird, but it made sense to me, which is using a flat foundation brush. This one is from Bobbi Brown. I never use this for foundation, but I found that it's just the perfect size for getting into that little under eye area. Um, so that is what I use to set my under eyes. And I also set my eyeshadow primer on the top of my lid. Just gonna blend out those creases as well. And it's the perfect size for that too because you can just very quickly get your entire lid space set. Okay, and then I'm just gonna very lightly set the rest of my face using another e.l.f. brush. e.l.f. has some of my favorite brushes and they're the most affordable brushes I've seen. Um, this is the e.l.f. powder brush, but it's kind of like in this big, I don't know, flat top kind of kabuki shape which I really like for pressing powder into my pores to kind of fill them, blur them. I don't do a lot of this, but just a little bit through the center of my face to make sure that my shine in that area um, is less likely to come through. For blush today, um, this is not part of my projects, but it's just sitting on my desk, so I'm gonna use it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Glow Blusher in the shade Pillow Talk. It's just a really nice kind of rosy color with a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not glittery. I find it just adds a little bit of a luminosity to the cheeks. I'm gonna take that over my nose as well, just to blend everything. If I find my blush is looking a little too heavy, I'll just use that powder brush that I had the Kosas Cloud set on and kind of blend the edges. But let's be honest, I'm not afraid of heavy blush. I actually like a heavy blush, so <laughs> adjust to your own tastes. So now it's time for brows. I'm gonna be using my Kosas Brow Pop to just lightly fill in my brows a bit. I'm noticing that it's kind of hard to be chatty and also talk about the products that I'm using at the same time, which makes those chatty get ready with me's that people do on YouTube suddenly seem a whole lot more challenging because every time I feel like I want to just chat about something random, I am switching products. And so I want to tell you what the product is that I'm using. This is one of those moments where I'm like, okay, YouTube is a lot harder than it looks. Does anyone else kind of hate doing their brows? <laughs> it's like the least fun part of my makeup routine, but I also feel like I need to do it because my brows are so strong on my face that, I don't know, I feel like it's really noticeable. They're, they're very noticeable brows, so I want them to be groomed and I want them to look nice but it's just a pain. Okay, I'm gonna set all of that with my Kosas Airbrow, also in the shade Medium Brown. Just use a little bit of this um, to, I don't know, fill in any gaps that I missed. This isn't in my Project 10 Pan because I don't feel like it's always necessary to use it, but sometimes 
it does kind of cover over any mistakes that I've made with the brow pencil. But to set all of that, I'm gonna be using the Kosas Airbrow in clear, which as I've mentioned multiple times, mine looks super gross because it has been applied over the brown. So obviously any clear brow gel is gonna turn that yucky color. This does an okay job of setting my brows down. It's not my absolute favorite brow gel for that purpose, but we are using it up. Okay, so I've curled my lashes and now I'm going to go in with my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette, which is my Pan That palette. My habit with this palette is to just do something super minimal, neutral, and boring but part of me kind of wants to spice it up for the video, so I'm trying to think. I'm gonna start with the shade Butter, which is um, a transition shade that I haven't had a chance to use yet this year. Let me just grab a big fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna put that through my crease. It definitely is more on the orangey side of the, all the transition shades in the palette, which makes me think maybe I'll do a warm look using kind of oranges and reds. I'm marking with my Sharpie each of the shades that I'm using as I do. Keeping with that warm theme, I'm gonna take the shade Jax, which is kind of like a deep red burgundy-ish color, and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner to deepen things up. Another shade that I haven't used yet this year. I would say this palette on the whole does lean pretty warm, although there are some really nice cool tone shades in here that I'm looking forward to playing with a little bit more. There's a really pretty taupe, taupey kind of a shimmer and more of a cooler brown. I think that would be a really pretty look. But for today, we're keeping it very warm because I'm gonna go in with a red shimmer. Uh, I'm gonna take the shade Cran Apple, which has had some kind of a unfortunate accident happen to it. It's been scratched up. But thankfully, I can just smooth that right out with my finger and then apply that to my lid. Oh, wow. Such a nice shade with really good payoff. Some of the metallics in this palette are really, really good like this one, and then others of them are just not as good. It's really kind of hit or miss, but for being as old as it is in my collection, I'm pretty impressed by the performance. Okay, going back in with that first shade of butter to blend out the edges here. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that shade Jax to just deepen back up that outer corner. I'm not gonna lie, I did not think I would be running my errands today with red eyeshadow on. <laughs> but that is what the makeup gods have orchestrated. I'm just gonna blend that one more time. Taking that same shade Jax up underneath my lower lash line. to really tie the look together. Then for my inner corner shade, I'm gonna take this one here, which is called Obsessed, which is a really pretty kind of pinky champagne shimmer. Just pop that right in the inner corner and then blend it into the look a little bit. All right, so I am gonna add mascara. I'm gonna use my Bite Upswing Mascara, another discontinued product, uh, another company that no longer exists. This is very sad because this is a great mascara for volume. So I'm gonna put a couple of coats on of this on my lashes, uh, top and bottom. I think I'm gonna leave the eye look right where it is. I don't think I'm gonna add any eyeliner. I'm pretty happy with the level of drama that we've got going on. So now is time for lips. So I'm just gonna leave my lip balm on and I'm gonna go in with my MAC Whirl Lip Liner, which is part of my Project 10 Pan, and just kind of let the lip balm 
blend the lip liner in. Because I like the shade of my lips right now with the eye look. I feel like it's, you know, a little bit more neutral. Um, a heavy lip with a heavy eye I think would overpower my face. Um, I just want to add a little bit of shape to my lips and I think the lip balm will help that lip liner kind of just blend right in. Just going over a bit with my finger. I think I'm gonna leave it there. So here is the finished look. And that is everything for today. This was a lot of fun using all of my panning project products to put together a fun look. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below letting me know what you'd like to see next on my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.